All right, guys, super, super cool stuff here. These termites have just started swarming. That is a termite right there. It only has one wing left. The others have fallen off right over there. There's a bunch of them in this area that are starting to swarm. So when these termites swarm, they all fly out in the air and then they land on the ground and they drop their wings. Whenever they drop their wings, they then start looking for another termite to pair up with. So this guy, he's trying to get that last wing off. I'm hoping I can get a video of the wing finally falling off because he starts out with four and now there's only one left. So the wing should be falling off here any second. Whenever that last wing falls off, it's then going to start looking for a, another termite swarmer to pair up with to start a colony. All right, there's the wing. The wing is gone. So now that termite's mission is to find another termite to hook up with. So once they find another termite, they send these chemical signals to each other and they will then start to follow each other around until they're able to start a new colony in the ground. So these out here, they're kind of stuck on the concrete and they're looking to try to get into the soil somewhere. So if we look over here, we have some termite swarmers. Those two have almost paired up. Usually when they pair up, they will start to follow each other exactly right behind one another. It's pretty cool to watch. It just looks like a little train of termites. And usually just two of them will pair together and they go off and start a colony. One of them is a male and one of them is a female, but it's almost impossible to tell. I'm still trying to find two of them that are paired up together. I finally found some. See those two termites? They're in that crack there. They are paired up and they say, you're coming with me. We're gonna go start a termite colony. So these guys are looking for any soil. Oh, here they go. See, they just lost each other. They say, hey, follow me. Where are you going? Get back here. Those are termite swarmers. That is some of the coolest stuff you will ever see right there. That is not very common to see the termites at this stage. They are literally moments away from finding a home in the soil and then start a new colony. Now those termites are the reproductive ones. Most termites are white. Whenever you see videos of termites, they're usually white. But those, those are black. They have a hard exoskeleton to protect themselves from predators and other things like that. For example, over here, there's a termite swarmer that is not paired up yet. So he's looking for a mate. But those two over there, they're ready to go. They're ready to go start making babies, and making a new termite colony. So that is super awesome, guys. Termite swarmers that have paired up, following each other around, trying to start a new colony. Now there's another termite that they are coming in contact with, and there's some more over there, but they're not paired up yet. Hopefully they don't get confused as to who's with who, because it is confusing when there are all these termites trying to start a colony. Now these termites, they don't have long to find a mate. Hey, if they don't find a mate soon, hey, within the first few hours of swarming and leaving the ground, then they will end up just dying off. And that's what you see a lot of times when I show you guys videos of termites swarming, there's usually a bunch of dead ones inside a house. And that's because they weren't able to pair up properly and they weren't outside and they weren't able to start a colony in the soil. Now those termites, those are the reproductive termites. And the good news is that those kinds of termites don't actually eat wood. But the bad news is that most termites do. In fact, the ones that we just saw in this video, throughout their lifetime, if they properly made up and start a colony, they will end up producing millions and millions of worker termites that will actually eat the wood and can cause extensive damage to a home or other wooden structure. And if you were watching this video, it's probably because you had some questions about termites. Maybe you just heard about termites and you wanna find out more about their biology or maybe your friends got termites and you want to know how you can protect your home from these annoying pests. Or maybe, worst of all, you just realized that you have termites in your home attacking the wood and you want to know how you can keep yourself protected. Well, lucky for you, I think you just found the best channel on the internet to help you stay better informed about termites and other pests that can cause you issues. I have the experienced and frankly unbiased knowledge and I'm giving this to you for free to help you make any decisions that you may have about termites. For example, did you know that in 2020 across the USA, Termites cause an estimated $8 billion worth of damage. This damage caused nearly 1 million homeowners to get their houses treated for termites. And this happens every single year, guys. But hey, I actually have some good news for you. Termites don't attack everybody. If you check out this cool map, termites don't totally infest the whole country. For example, if you live in this little green area, you are 100% good to go. Shoot, even if you live in this little yellow area, there's a high probability that you can go your whole life without having any termite issues. But if you live in the orange or the red area, I will highly, highly suggest that you stay completely informed and aware of your home's protection against termites. So I live in Kentucky, right? And I always tell customers that say, hey, Dan the Bugman, 
What are the odds that I actually get termites? And this is always my answer, and it's extremely true. If your home has not been treated for termites, it's not a matter of if you'll get termites or not. It's just a matter of time. They will find your house eventually. It may take two weeks. It may take two months. It may take two years. It may take 10 years, but the termites will find your home eventually. I'm not trying to scare you guys. Knowledge is power, and I've got a lot of it to share with you. So I made a ton of other termite videos on this channel. I've showed you exactly how to inspect for termites. I've done do-it-yourself termite treatment videos, and I've shown you my personal interactions with customers that just found out that their homes are being infested by termites. So finding those mating termites was an awesome find. It actually took me about two months to find them. I was searching throughout the whole swarming season of termites, and it was almost the end of the season, and I hadn't found any that had paired up like that and I finally came across them, and it was super cool to see, and I'm glad I got to share it with you guys. It would help me out a ton if you showed some appreciation for me finding these termites by simply just liking the video. That helps me out a ton, and it can potentially push this video to other people that have termites and need to know more unbiased, free information. So thank you guys so very much for watching this video about termites, and I hope you learned something, and I will see you guys next time.